All right, last wave. Tried to stick my arm in the wave. Not exactly sure what happened. Heard a popping sound. Whole must. Oh my god. I don't know what that's all about. My f thing ripped off my f bone, dude. You think so? I swear to God, I need surgery. Yeah, dude. My whole it. muscles up in here. Want to just start the vlog off by saying thank you to Casey Neistat, the guy. He got the kind folks at Joby to send me a grip, a waterproof casing, and an, a lens or something. I'm stoked for it. He's not eating that on the couch. Dude, this thing's kind of mental. Jordan! No way, dude. What? Frick. It's snowing. Snowing. What do you mean you want to go surfing in this, dude? Surfing or snow angels, you make the decision. All right, well, hold on. Before we do this, we got to see how cold it is. It's cold. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Snowing. small to a giant. Dude, it's small. It's freaking snowing, dude. In the snow? Are we thinking? Nah, we're just doing it. Oh. What's up, man? You good? Yeah, man. Hanging in there. See if the battery's good? Yeah, I just want to cover her up. I think the battery's good. She's been hanging out in my house, right? Have to get warm? Yeah. Not on the concrete? <sighs> She's purring, dude. Did someone, <laughs> someone install a laugh track for my dad. Come <laughs> on back. Come on back. Got about 15 feet, bud. All right. You got about a two feet. Up over the, uh, We can move it. Come on back. All right. Hold it. Come back about uh, seven sixteenths of a centimeter. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Rock. All right, Will. We're getting barreled today, boys. Damn, dude, I owe a frame 10 bucks now. <laughs> Why? Because we had a bet if you were gonna use the lights or not. I said, how much do you think he's not? Yeah, he he, they, see if he plugs the lights in or not. He's like, no, he will. <laughs> he I said, no chance, dude. <laughs> well, cause I didn't wanna, dude, I had your back. Dude, I said, nah, he's gonna put them on. Do you want it to already be popping or do you want it to kind of still be side shore? I want it to be side shore. So like we're early? Yeah. Dude, this wind feels pretty offshore. It's straight off. It is, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Oh, um, did you do the long walk? Yeah, dude. There's some like crazy laps, but too small. Gravy's got Gore-Tex. <laughs> Look at this, dude. This thing's Gore-Tex. I don't want to stand here and try to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but the battery terminals, you have to be as tight as it can possibly get, or it just she won't start. She plays a lot of games with your heart, but we play games back. All right, I got a water bottle, two life vests, surfboard, wax, leash, gloves. Wax this thing. I'm laughing. Watching this next section, you'll probably be able to tell that there wasn't much of a use to take a jet ski out this day because the waves were pretty small. But if you can remember back about two months, we had a pretty solid swell here in New Jersey where the boys were laughing their way into dozens of tubes while doing step-offs using my jet ski. The only issue is that day, besides myself, Palm Beach Perry was the only other guy that could actually drive. So since then, we've all been working together to get the entire crew experience driving the jet ski in big surf. And that starts with driving the jet ski in small surf. Today's mission was simple. Get Will comfortable behind the handlebars of the 170 horsepower Sea Don't. 
so that when the ways do in fact get good again, we'll have even more experience and even more people that can drive, which makes everything more safe and in turn makes everything more fun. Today was definitely not a day that I expected to take me out of the water for a few months and overall just not a day of surf that I expected to get injured. Last wave, tried to stick my arm in the wave. Not exactly sure what happened. Heard a popping sound. Whole must. Oh my god. I don't know what that's all about. First time I tried to straighten it. It's actually straightening. So, can't turn it though, I'll tell you that. Excruciating pain here, excruciating pain here. Straight down to the nudies. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be able to bend this arm to get it out, so it's gonna be just a straight down guy. See now the beauty about hyperflex is even if you get smoked, it's still flexible enough to get out of here, you know? Okay, okay, okay. okay. You good? good. Um, that hurts, whatever position that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me really help bad, you. Really bad. Oh my god. It is the same thing, dude. Look how big my muscle is. My thing ripped off my bone, dude. You think so? I swear to god I need surgery, yeah, dude. My whole it. muscle's up in here. Yeah kidding me dude almost 100 percent positive i tore my bicep off my bone like dad did oh bicep is your bicep muscle up your arm yes it's in my like up in my okay okay you have to get an appointment at rossman and the lady who dad did dad is retired that's the lady i tried to call before you have to get or get an appointment with that guy that you, does that guy do it you have to get this done in like 10 days what'd you do did you do it surfing yep that's how dad did it um, yeah, you got to call and get an appointment with the doctor. So you got to get calling now. What time is it? Is it five o'clock yet? Uh, Hello? Hey, babe. Hi. Can you get information about my doctor from Penn for me? Why? I'm almost positive I tore my bicep off the bone. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. My dad did it like five years ago. I remember seeing his arm. It looks exactly the same. Did you have to get surgery? Yeah, I have to get surgery. I just want to call his office before they close. Can you please dig up the folder and stuff? We just got good news. Ben's not taking it as good news, but it's good news. Today is February 28th, 2024. Another year, another surgery. All right, I have to admit it's really weird walking in somewhere to get surgery when it feels as though I can fully use my arm. Thank you. Last time I had surgery, I didn't even have Dennis yet. That's crazy. Hey,
seat need to be further back? No, the seat's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay. Wow. Your instructions, your bag with your instructions in The there. instructions are in here? Yeah. All the paperwork? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you. No, get the f out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick one. They were just like, hey. Oh, wait, I just turned off. Were you in there? Dude, they didn't let me. I was so mad. Because they. They didn't. They they wait, I gotta put your seatbelt on. They woke me up and they're like, I was like, how long have I been up? And they're like, oh man, a long time. Up? Yeah. And I was like, how long's a long time? And they're like, time. I don't know, at least 10 minutes. No, you. Okay, we had an emergency. What? Because they called me and said, be down here at 2.30. They called me, Dr. Cobby called me at 1 o'clock, 1.20 and said, you did great, beautiful, everything went well. I said, great. He said, okay. I said, am I going to be able to see him? He didn't say I wasn't. Then they called me and said, oh, you can't come back here. I said, what are you talking about? How can I not come back there? I said, this is weird. And he, he said, oh, no, we never let people come back. I said, okay. That's a lie. That's what, and I called your mom and I was like upset and they said just wait in the parking lot. Oh, thanks, bro. Wait in the parking lot at 2.30. 2.30 came, they called me and said, oh, he's not awake yet. So then I had a fit thinking something bad happened. No, thank you. They, they were like, gone. they were doing the old. I think because I woke up and I was like, because uh, they were saying, are you in pain? And I was like, I mean, I'm in pain, but it's not like my clavicle. Yeah. And they were like, all right. See ya. Well, and then I was like 2.30, like he just got out of surgery. First of all, it's hot in here. Can I get it cooler? Yeah. No, I'm really uh, motion sick, I think I would say. Oh, yeah? I feel really, uh, I feel really ill. Sick, yeah. Sick to my stomach. I think stomach. you get sick from the... I got you pretzels, soft pretzel, and a Gatorade. Chocolate? No, I didn't get chocolate. I got you something that's going to help your stomach. The way I feel right now is the way I felt when you came and saw me during my clavicle. Like, I'm loopy, dude. <laughs> well, they didn't let me come back there, so that was weird. Any updates that. about the surgery? Oh, they didn't talk to you? I guess you wouldn't have I mean, that. I don't remember anything, dude. They said that he called me and said everything went really good. We got... <laughs> <laughs> they said everything went really well and that they said that you he said beautifully 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 and then they kept saying that he said it was you know how they were worried that it wasn't gonna pull yeah they said it pulled perfectly well yeah little ligament no they said it was good i think the main part is what was that was that a god <laughs> That was what hurt. Yeah, my f elbow hurts so bad because I know they were drilling through my bones. Well, I don't know if it was. He said it was super easy. Yeah. Everything pulled good. It wasn't the worst case scenario, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then he said that you have to elevate it and you can ice it and that's it. And you're not. You don't have to take any real medicine. You know how that. What? Give me some pain medicine. No, you have pain medicine, but that's it. Go birds. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> but he said that you don't, like, you know how last time you had to take vitamins, antibiotics? You don't get any of that. No antibiotics? No antibiotics. Literally, that all seems... you have is Tylenol and pain meds. And he said most athletes only take Tylenol. So, you're an athlete. And you're not really supposed to take Oxy for, like, after. I think he's taking... trying to challenge me. <laughs> most athletes, my ass. <laughs> We made it through freaking solid seven or eight pain right now. Absolutely nothing compared to my clavicle. Absolutely nothing compared to my knee surgery, but I'm still like, I mean, is it enough to put the average man down? I'm feeling terrible. <laughs> the average man? Are you saying you're above average? 
No, I think I my pain tolerance is high. Nice. If I'm being honest. They said <laughs> they said think about your happiest thoughts before bed and I was just Oh god, I was emotional. <laughs> I was thinking about Dennis on the beach. That is the best thing. The happiest moments of our lives are Denny on the beach. He's so cute. You want to see a picture your mom took of him? Yeah. Oh my god, he's so good looking, Bobby. Look how good looking he was. He's so beautiful. Is he? This was him right as your mom came home. He's so beautiful. I know. Go look. All right, we're gonna cut, guys. Cutting out late. Okay, the update is that it was a, the doctor called and said it was a full rupture. 100% what they thought. No messing around. They got in there. There was a way to do the surgery where he had to suture one side and then open the other side and pull it from the other side. And when they pulled it from the other side, it was either going to go smoothly or it was going to be a hard pull. And if it was a hard pull, it was not going to be a good thing. But this, the doctor said that it was a smooth pull, easy no complications, so we're good. So Ben's good. Easy. We'll be surfing by tomorrow. Um, yes, 100%. Now the doctor did say. Surgery still hurts like a mother f dude. This is pain wise right now, it's worse than when I injured it. Yeah. And I'm really high, dude. I'm, f I'm, I'm, I'm not even. They got me out of there good, though. They must have looked at my track record. What's that mean? Because they got me out of there fast. Well, they were trying it earlier, an hour earlier. Well, they were saying it wasn't fast. They kept laughing at me and everyone. They brought the anesthesiologist down. Did and they? he was going, do you drink? And I was like, no, I haven't drank in years. He goes, it took me a lot to knock you out. And I was like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you're having trouble because both these anesthesiologist needed to put you out pretty heavy. They couldn't get me. They couldn't get you. you can't take a damn. Bobby, I'm not even here. Like, I'm not with it. You can't hate on me. <laughs> My whole brain is a rap video and a YouTube video and stuff. I, I think I'm online. Like, I'm part of the internet. Okay, so, so if that is how you feel, you have problems and you need to get offline. <laughs> if you think you're in a rap video and you're on YouTube, you're not on YouTube. You're not in a rap video. This is real life. Real life. I'm a surgery addict. True life. Well, I start thinking I'm normal and then, and then reality hits. Yeah. I mean, you'll be out of it until tomorrow. What did you eat when they put you in there? They said that you were eating. I ate two packs of crackers, peanut butter. But they were so like dry. Yeah. Do you want this? You good? What do we got here? Chocolate? No chocolate. I can eat this. Eight of you. Trash. Okay. This? That might be alright. You want me to open it? Have a little bit. They said to keep you hydrated. being like, hey, my hand is so numb. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's normal. I'm like, is it though? Well, they didn't give you a nerve block because... I know they didn't. Because they said that if you did, if you couldn't tell if your arm, like, they need to be able to, like, you need to be able to, like, wiggle your fingers or something. Hmm. Now you're just nodding out because you took Xanax or whatever the Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm like, not... You got me out of there. Mm. It can't be having this traffic. Well, it's 320, probably the worst time. Everything I've eaten today is so dry. Well, 
she said that you should be eating clean stuff. Frick, dude. Like, My f hurts, dude. Do you want to call your mom? Call my mom? I don't know. I mean, I can call her. No, I, I, I've been calling her all day. Monica! <laughs> what? Why are you screaming Monica? Is there something you need to tell me? Just made it home. Pain wise, not the worst surgery I've had. Really happy to make it through that. And uh, I'm drained. Every ounce of energy in my soul. Hey, I'm getting June so Dad can help you, Ben. Don't get out yet. Don't get out yet. Who's Dad? Look, he really did put a real cast on it. No, Dad didn't have anything like that. Where is it? On his arm. This oh. kid's totally wasted. How do they even let you go? You want me to put that on, dude? How do they let you go to sleep? <laughs> This is not right. I'm, f oh, I'm wavering between. Then so yo, come uh, go lay down. Do you want those pretzels in the house? No, those aren't good. Well, she'll she'll get you something else. Come on. Can you guys get my stuff? Yeah, that's on. Yeah. Turn that off. Why? You don't want to well, see no, you can, you can be on. I'm saying, but bring it with you. Then if it's on, trying to cover his tracks. All right, we're gonna cover your. Put your feet on the ground. I'm like good, that. brother. I'm I'm better than you think I am. No. No. I was walking around. Than you think you are. That's his step, dude. No, hold his arm. He's got it. If he gets there. No, hold his I arm. I got it. So go there. That's medicine. Get that. Feels good to be alive. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's good to be alive. The alternative's not so great. <laughs> My son. Hi. Wait, wait, in the house though, dude, before you start Hi. doing it. Hi, mister. Uh, Hi, little buddy. Like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's your dad, beans. Here's your key. Oh, yeah. Where's my boy? Hi, my boy. You want this ice pack, Dennis? Okay, distal bicep tendon repair update. Six o'clock, 6.24, day of surgery. I mean, it's been out of surgery for three hours only? They got out at 1.20. 1.20? Mm -hmm. My time is messed up. Yeah, well, 1.20. I got out at 1.20. Yeah, your doctor called me at 1.20. When did you pick me up? 3.20. So I got out of surgery at 1.20. They called Jordan. I was obviously so high on the medicine, I didn't know what was going on, but they told me that I was sleeping for the first hour after they woke me up and then i was clearly disoriented i'm finally coming around and i'm gonna say that compared to surgeries i've had in the past so far not everything is worn off so i can't say for certain but so far the pain factor i'm able to handle very very well i'm hoping that we have a good night tonight and potentially by tomorrow i might be feeling pretty good the long road to recovery begins. Well, it's already begun. So I just want to thank everyone for being here for me. I appreciate everyone. I guess just wish me luck. Thank you, Jordan. Say thanks to Jordan in the comment section. This one's a little bit different than the collarbone, everyone. There's no chance for me to rush back to surfing. So here we are. We're going to have to live in it for a little bit. It's a lot of mental stuff to deal with, but... Got my beautiful wife, and I have my amazing son, Dennis, down in between my legs, comforting me. My mom and dad already visited, so you got to think about the things in life that are important. What is important in life? It's the little things. Just to have a family that loves me, I'm, I'm one of the luckiest people alive that I have that aspect in my life. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. My career can wait. Health is the most important thing about life. I want to make sure I'm 100% healthy before I go back into the world and continue to do what I do. But here we are on the road to recovery. Thank you. Denzi. My boy. It's like he got something done today. He hasn't moved his head once. He's acting like he had a very big procedure today. Oh my God, he really been through a ringer. I think he was prescribed a morning at grandma's and it really took the wind out of his sails. <laughs> oh gosh.